hi guys uh, welcome to my channel audio video me in today's video I'm gonna show you how to uh, set up the Tascam dr 70 d uh, with your DSLR camera using an external condenser uh, microphone uh, okay I'll just go through the menus inside the uh, Tascam as well uh, as a stock uh, it came with uh, firmware version uh, 1.12 which had many bugs uh, and uh, recently on uh, 21st June 2016 Tascam released a firmware version 1.14 that has addressed many issues uh, but um, they haven't resolved the main issue with this uh, recorder but that issue is not that important uh, because this recorder is designed to use as a multi-track field recorder uh, using external microphones uh, okay uh, let's start with the setup I'm just gonna zoom in a bit uh, so you see the menu on the screen uh, I'm using an old Canon XS210 camera which records at 720p and it hasn't got a great built-in microphone uh, as well so uh, I don't know if you guys can see the screen or not, but I'll just do my best. Okay, maybe not because I can't see the screen. Anyways, let's start. So what you do is connect a condenser uh, shotgun microphone and uh, just connect the cable to Tascam. XLR or TRS balanced input uh, now this recorder has on the right hand side it has got a one two three three XLR or TRS uh, combo inputs and on the left hand side it has this XLR right here and TRS jack combo input a USB port to power it from external uh, power bank I'm just using this power bank which is uh, 50,000 mAh and it lasts for about two three days using this recorder and uh, then this is external out to your camera microphone input and this has an issue this has a main issue which I'll explain as we go along then you've got this uh, external in one and two stereo jack uh, again a microphone input uh, this is the remote uh, 3.5 mm uh, input which i believe you can connect a device and just control it and then this is the headphone monitoring a 3.5 mm jack and uh, then you got this 3.5 mm jack which is uh, output from your professional camera in into input into this okay now once you have connected your condenser microphone just go and press the menu button and uh, I'll just go closer to the task cam so you guys can see as I said, I'm using a XS, uh, Canon XS camera and uh, the focusing is just horrible on this thing uh, for close-ups. But hopefully you can see. Okay, so once you have connected the condenser microphone, shotgun microphone or any other microphone uh, to your XLR TRS uh, combo input, just go and press the menu button which is right here and then it shows you basic monitor input as first three options go into basic and then it shows you channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 now make sure that once it's highlighted on channel 1 and if you have connected your condenser microphone to channel 1 uh, XLR or TRS input then the record on is on it's switched on second option is wide 
uh, which I don't know what it is at this stage, uh, but I think it's it, it has to do with the capturing or stereo image of microphones. Uh, but I'll do some research on it, and if you guys uh, happen to know what it is, then please share your thoughts and uh, your research. Now, uh, third option here is gain, and I've selected mid gain as input gain uh, to mid level because if I turn it to low I've noticed the built-in mic preamps on low it doesn't uh, it doesn't boost the signal too much and uh, I, I don't get good recording so after upgrading the firmware it gave me the option of mid uh, as a stock firmware when it came on version 1.12 uh, the only options I had for the gain input gains were low high and high plus now I've got uh, low mid high and high plus I just keep it on mid and then fourth option is input 1 and 2 now make sure if your uh, shotgun uh, condenser microphone requires obviously uh, 48 volts if, if you're not using uh, like a, a inbuilt battery or if it doesn't support uh, inbuilt battery uh, powering uh, then this option is set to XLR TRS uh, otherwise it's not gonna pass through phantom power to your condenser microphone now as if you want to get out of this uh, page just press the menu button now second is monitoring uh, unfortunately this recorder doesn't allow you to monitor individual channels obviously it can record multi-channel as uh, uh, and and uh, in order to monitor those channels you can either uh, monitor as mix like a stereo image of uh, all four channels or you can change it to monitor what's coming from the camera remember I showed you on the left hand side there is a camera input so if you're using a professional grade camera you can take a output audio output from that camera and plug into this task cam and that way you can monitor what the camera is recording but in this instance I'm just gonna leave it on mix so monitoring is mix now if you want to uh, monitor individual channels the only way is if you switch off the channels or or like if you put the input gain down of certain channel and then input gain level gain up of a certain channel uh, but there is a drawback of it during recording if you put the input gain down then obviously you know it's not recording to the optimum level which you have set up so you know this is this is a major uh, drawback for monitoring point of view but at this price point I can't complain with this recorder because most of the time I'm gonna be just recording using my shotgun condenser microphone or I'm just gonna be recording using lapel microphones and and monitoring is not a big issue I just want to monitor whether I'm getting a healthy signal or not okay um, uh, this is your monitoring output level like what at what level you want to hear so I just keep it to 0 dB and output gain uh, remember I showed you this port where yellow cable is connected it's like a output cam port 3.5 mm going into the camera input microphone input uh, now what you can do using this output gain option is that if you select here cam then it's gonna send a, a microphone level to the camera mic input which is what you want if you change this to line level then obviously the signal is gonna be stronger and uh, most of the consumer level DSLRs they don't have an option to change the microphone input level from mic level to line level so I just keep it on cam level 
okay guys uh, also what i was explaining you if you uh, output uh, from the cam output port into your dslr microphone input then uh, this recorder adds about you know 25 db of noise on that channel which still tascam hasn't addressed it the only way to get rid of that is if you put a di box in between and then just apply a pad or attenuator which can cut like 20 db or 23 db now uh, after doing some research i found out that there is a special cable that has got a built-in attenuator in it and that can take off like about 23 db off and uh, that cuts the signal but who's gonna spend like 20 dollars or 20 pound on a cable when you have already spent about 200 pounds or uh, 250 dollars on this recorder uh, so uh, soon i'll write down this issue to uh, tascam and uh, uh, hopefully in their uh, next version of firmware they will address it uh, so that's the uh, monitoring tab now let's go to uh, third tab which is input and let's say what's inside so again we get the channels and uh, input gain i'm just using channel one so now in order for phantom power to work properly you need to make sure that the phantom power is switched on from two or three different menus uh, so on the input gain make sure if you're using a condenser microphone then mic plus phantom is selected uh, i really don't use a limiter uh, because uh, i don't need that and i don't uh, use low cut filter or high pass filter because my microphone has got a built-in high pass or low pa a low cut filter uh, delay uh, you can add delay if uh, you are far away from your subject uh, but you know uh, i'm i'm not using that and then there's another uh, uh, option called phase uh, if you've got any phasing issues in your cabling and stuff or you're getting any hum uh, and then just switch this on just to see if uh, it resolves the issue i'm using uh, my cables and i know what the uh, connections are like and all my cables they are balanced cable uh, so i'm not getting any hum or anything so i don't have any ground loop issues or phasing issues uh, so i'm not using this option as well so that's switched off then fourth option is record and now what you want to record as it gives you three options which is first one is mono then it's stereo and two mix so mono uh, you should if you're using multiple microphones then use mono if you're using all four channels then use mono that way you're going to get multi-track recording if you select stereo then it's going to mix all those four microphones as a stereo image and record it as that and uh, two mix i don't know what exactly it is but um, do some research read the manual and share your thoughts i'm not just worried about what two mix is because i'm never going to use it i'm just either going to use mono as multi-track recording for multiple microphones or stereo if i just want one file of all the microphones in a stereo image uh, okay so i'm just going to select mono then format what format you want to record it uh, at the moment i've selected wave 24 bit then it's wave 16 bit bwf 24 bit bwf 16 bit so if you're using any broadcasting level uh, microphones and camcorder i would say select bwf 24 bit if you're using dslr or conventional camcorders then just use wave 24 bit okay sample rate i've selected 48k it can go up to 96k but that's gonna take a lot of uh, uh, space on the card and i really don't need 96k because i'm not doing any live show it's just for recording and it's uh, 48k is my preference which is above cd quality of 44.1k so 
I'll select 44k dual record I haven't done any uh, studying or research on this uh, as a, and again share your thoughts what dual record is and uh, as I use this uh, recorder more uh, I'll, I'll find out but you you guys can share your thoughts okay let's get out of this menu record menu next is slate slate is you if you want to add tones uh, to your recording at certain intervals I don't use that so I'm just gonna get out of it then next option is mic and uh, uh, first it shows MS mode 1 and 2 make sure it's on record so basically it's asking you mode 1 and 2 on input 1 and 2 do you want recording or uh, money I don't know what money is Mo oh yeah monitoring maybe or record I just keep it on record and uh, again and nothing is connected to channel 3 and 4 so and uh, I've switched it off and now here comes the phantom volt uh, here you can change the value either to 48 volts or 24 volts I'm just using 48 volts so I'm just going to keep it to 48 volts now remember I told you that in order for uh, supplying phantom power to your condenser microphone you need to make sure phantom power is on uh, in this option then uh, on the input option and then the record option it's switched on okay if it's not switched on from mic option or uh, sorry mic option input option see mic plus phantom it needs to be there or basic option it needs to be input one and two xlr trs in order for phantom power to work so it so you need to make sure that you go in these three uh, tabs and make sure that in basic uh, tab when you go inside input one and two xlr trs is selected then input mic plus phantom input gain mic plus phantom is selected and then mic phantom volt is selected to 48 volts then your condenser microphone is gonna get the 48 volts otherwise it's not gonna work okay uh, next tab is browse and it just you can browse the recorded files you can create folders and stuff in it and then next tab is others and uh, here it comes system if you go inside the system tab uh, it shows you auto power save you can change the setting uh, backlight is five seconds uh, you can change that contrast I've kept it to nine because that gives me optimum level but obviously you can change it uh, initialize erase format quick format and stuff like that battery you can select battery type if you're using uh, uh, like uh, external batteries which goes to the front of uh, this recorder I'll show it to you let me just move that I'll show you the battery compartment here is the battery compartment right here so you can open this from here and then it takes four uh, AA batteries and here is the SD card slot and by the way these are two built-in stereo microphones okay so in the battery option it gives you battery type either alkaline or NIMH whatever type you're using just select that as I said, I'm using an external uh, power bank, uh, which is 50,000 MAA. Information is where you're going to get the information about auto power save and all that. Okay, information, uh, it's going to give you the information about uh, auto power save, backlight and battery, remaining battery and stuff and uh, system version that's the most important so if you look 
uh, mine is at 1.140070 uh, which was released on 21st or 23rd of June 2016 and uh, it came at, as I said when it came it came with version 1.12 which had many bugs bugs in it uh, and uh, in part two of this video I'll show you how to upgrade the firmware uh, without any issues and uh, Overall thoughts uh, about this recorder is it's price effective. You can use it with professional cameras as you can mount it on top of a tripod and then you can put either a DSLR camera or a broadcasting camera like the size of Sony PMW300 or Canon uh, FX305. Those two cameras I've tested with this recorder and uh, it, it just mounts perfectly. Uh, I haven't used any bigger camera so I can't comment on that uh, but uh, it's, it's a nice looking recorder. It sits very well. Uh, uh, as I said, uh, the only drawbacks in this recorder is, uh, first one, is that it adds about, you know, noise of around 25 dB from cam output port, uh, which hopefully Tascam will address. And uh, second big drawback is that you can't monitor individual channels. You can only monitor uh, a stereo image of all uh, microphone inputs uh, okay in order to record uh, you don't have to like like many professional uh, uh, sound recorders like ki pro devices sorry uh, you know like you can just press record and it will start recording and here uh, the uh, led uh, will lit and that shows you that it's recording in order to just stop it just stop it just press the stop button okay and uh, uh, my thoughts about the mic preamps and the recording uh, uh, obviously the recording depends on so many factors uh, the positioning of the microphone the quality of the microphone and all that but i can assure you that this tascam has got good mic preamps and the recording is really good it's decent a recording for the price you pay for it and uh, I mean this can be used for your short film projects as a field recorder or you can even use it as a multi-track recorder uh, for many different applications and uh, as I said you don't need to connect external microphones it has got two built-in microphones and you can just use those microphones and the recording from those two microphones is decent as well so overall thoughts about this recorder is thumbs up uh, okay guys if you have liked my video uh, please click on the like icon and please subscribe to my channel and please share your thoughts about the menu if you buy this product and all that and uh, if somebody knows a solution for this which is a cheap solution let me know about that as well Okay, take care. Bye-bye.